Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of content in a picture using GIMP 2.10. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we'll go to this website here called Unsplash and we're going to download this picture of a car. You can pick a different picture but in this example I'm going to use this car and change it from a red color to a different color. So let's click the free download button here and it will download the image and we'll open up the folder on my desktop and we'll, we'll drag this picture into the folder. Let's close down the web browser and we'll open up GIMP software. So we've got GIMP open here and we're just going to drag and drop the picture into GIMP. So we've got the picture here. I'm going to hold down the control key and zoom in onto this car using the mouse wheel. So hold down the control key and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I'm going to zoom into the car and we're going to use the um, hold down the left mouse button here. We're going to use the foreground select here. So I'm going to select foreground select and I'm going to set the stroke width to around uh, around 10 for now and leave the pretty much the other settings as they are. And what we want to do is just draw around this car. So around the outside edge we want to draw around it just by left clicking and we're just creating a mask here, right? Just a selection mask. Well, a, um, we're just isolating this car away from the, the rest of the content behind it basically. That's what we're doing. So we just want to draw around here. Try and be accurate as possible. You don't want to go into the car, right? So you want to stay on the outside, just like this. And then we join it at the end and it will go to this yellow sort of dot. And when you click it, then you can go to select and, sorry, you hit the enter key, hit the enter key. So after you hit the enter key, everything in the background is going to go blue and GIMP will ignore that. And now it's isolating the car only. And now we want to draw our selection. So right now the stroke is set quite small. So we'll increase the stroke and maybe we'll change the color of the foreground here. So let's select the foreground and let's make it not a red color. So let's use something like yellow, like we use like a yellow color. It can be any color that's really not this red color basically. So let's click OK and we'll just drag this stroke out and make it a bit bigger. So it's around this sort of size. You can see the brush size, right? And really we just want to draw around the edge of the car. So that GIMP understands what we're trying to select. That's what we're trying to give it an idea. So let's just zoom into this bonnet using the control key and using the mouse wheel. And we're just going to draw and get as close to the edge of the car as possible. And do a piece of it and then let go of the mouse. Right? So do a piece of it and let go of the mouse. And then that's one step. So you can then undo that step by pressing control Z or pressing control and Y to undo and redo. If you do a lot of the selection and you make a mistake, it's going to be a problem because you're going to have to undo a big part of your selection, right? What you're doing. So hold down the space bar to move the um, the canvas so you can see the other parts of the car. And then we'll do another piece of the selection like around here. And then we'll let go of the mouse button. If for any reason you do some of the selection, you go off, off of the car, just press control Z. And you can undo that last step, right? I'm just going to go ahead and just keep selecting around the edge here like down here, hold down the space bar to move the canvas, right? So hold down the space bar and just move your mouse and that will move the canvas. And you just want to make sure that you don't go outside of the car. That's the key right here. Don't go outside of the car. So let's just go around the edge here. And it takes a little bit of time and the more accurate you are on doing this work, this selection, the better the selection will be. So put some time and effort into this selection and your result will be better right and it's not going to take too long because we're using quite a big brush uh, we can cover quite a lot of the space uh, quickly so we'll go around the top here and we might refine this a little bit but really see here I've kind of gone outside of the car a little bit and I don't really want to do that so let's press Control Z and we'll just draw along here <clears throat> like this and th this over here is a little bit tricky right it's a little bit hard to see so let's just um, hold down the control key, zoom in, and then hold down the space bar to pan it. And then we can get a bit of a better selection here across the top where this windshield is, right? Right here. Let's just get quite close uh, as possible. Right, like this. And then let's just hold down the control key and zoom out. And we'll just increase the size of our brush. And we'll just fill in all of this middle content. Just fill it all in like this. All right, nice and easy. And then what I normally do afterwards is just refine those edges slightly, right? 
wherever I can. So I can see there's a little spoiler at the back here and we want to select that. So what we do is hold down the control key, zoom into it and just reduce the size of the stroke. Make it very, very small, maybe about 10 pixels and then just draw this in here like this. It doesn't have to be super accurate but just something like this. And what we're doing is we're giving GIMP information about our selection, yeah? We're showing GIMP, okay, this is the background. You can see it's very dark and this is more, much more of a lighter color, the red compared to the background. And it's gonna do its um, little sort of mathematics and it's gonna look at the colors that we're selecting and GIMP's gonna say, well, you know what? I've got a good idea that they're trying to select this red color and the background is a contrast color, so it's going to draw, it's going to select around this edge. Now, this isn't the most accurate way to do this. I'll be honest with you; you'd probably get a better result if you use something like, um, like um, this tool here, the path select tool, right? But then you've got to literally draw around the edge manually, and that can take a considerable amount of time. But the end result would be better. But this is kind of a um, a quicker way of doing this. So we've got a pretty good selection. I'm just trying to tidy it up a little bit around these edges um, just to see like if we can get a little bit closer just to get a bit better uh, selection here. All right, so we do that here. So bear with me, it won't take too much longer to do this. Uh, let's just get a bit more of this in here, like here. And this little bit down here, we can improve that, right? So wherever you see you can improve your selection, do that, please. Right down here, we can just left click once and we've got most of that. Um, and down here, let's select this piece. So I think we're pretty good now, right? And now what we need to do is click this select button. So we click it, give GIMP a little bit of time and it's gonna draw around this selection. So we've got a pretty good selection. It's not perfect by any means. You can see a few little rough edges, but it's pretty good. Yeah, now all we need to do is go to image, uh, sorry, go to color and then go to hue and saturation here. And we'll click that and we'll get this tool open. And now we can just adjust the hue. If I drag this to the side and we want to make it like a yellow color, then we just move it across and now it's yellow. Or we can drag back and we can make it purple. Or we can make it all sorts of different colors here just by dragging this handle. So you can go ahead and select any color you want. And if we zoom out a little bit, let's just hold the control key and zoom out so we can see more of this picture. We can um, hold down the middle mouse button as well to pan the canvas, yeah? Let's move it over here a little bit. And um, yeah, you can just drag this hue and pick any color you like. We've got blues, purples, uh, reds. Obviously red was the original color, but if you just want to change it to maybe an orange, you just move the slider a little bit. Uh, and just flick through the colors and find the color that you like. So I think we're going to go for a blue because that's quite a dramatic difference, right? Between the original color and this one. I kind of like that blue there. And if the if the photograph, this photograph is actually pretty clear. But if the photograph had, you know, like bad saturation, you can change the saturation here. You can make it grayscale if you want. In theory, you could reverse this selection. You can make all of the background gray and kept the car a color, for example. You can do stuff like that as well, right? Um, but the saturation is pretty good. So we might bump it up a little bit, but that's about it really. We don't really want to do too much. Um, and then the lightness here, you can darken it down or you can lighten it up. You just be careful as you're using these tools. Um, you know, these, the, the lightness and the saturation, you want to manipulate them slightly, but the hue itself, you can change that quite dramatically to change the color of the car itself. So I want to get it set to this sort of blue color and then we're going to click OK. And we've still got a selection enabled. So if you don't like this for any reason, you can just go back and use the hue and, hue and um, uh, saturation to change it. But as soon as you, you're, you're happy with it, you can go to select and then none. And you've removed the selection. So this is a pretty good way of changing the color of an object. And this could be a person with a t-shirt. Imagine there's a red t-shirt and you want to change the color of that t-shirt, you can use this same logic to do that as well. It doesn't have to be a car. It could be pretty much any object that you can trace around the edges using the um, the foreground select tool. So that foreground select tool is quite powerful, you can see. Let's go to File, Save As, and we should save our GIMP file. So let's just save it to my desktop, and we've got this folder here. And we just give it, we just leave it as the same name, we'll save it, Then let's just go to File, export as and we're going to give this a version 2 here so we just make sure we don't overwrite our file 
and let's just go to extensions and select JPEG from here JPEG file and click export and we'll leave it at 90% compression should be fine and we'll click export let's minimize this now in the folder we've got the red car and the blue one the red is the original and now we've got this blue version which is the manipulated image so both of them look pretty good I would say you know you could in theory fix this image a little bit better and the way that you could do that and it would take a lot longer but you could have removed the selection for the window can you see this window here you could have removed that part of the selection but you know it depends on what you really want to do how much time you want to spend on the image manipulate it because you can see that it did actually change the background of this grass the color there but it's not so noticeable unless you really start looking at this image quite carefully but I think overall we've done a pretty good job of changing the color of the car remember you can apply this logic to any type of image um, and any type of object in that image so let's go ahead and close these two images let's close this folder that's the end of this tutorial I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial